Good morning, everyone. Robert out here at I'm always at hotwater.com and boats in hotwater.com. Uh, traveling, <laughs> it looks like it's pretty out here, uh, but it's about 38 degrees and I am freezing. Uh, most of you know I've been shut down for four months. I had that induced into the coma, two and a half months stay in the hospital and therapy, and I just started back up on the route of all my clients that waited for me uh, in the last 30 days, and it's been interesting. Uh, kind of bear with me. I still have a little bit of memory loss <laughs> from the medication, and also I have neuropathy in my hands now, uh, which makes it tough for me to hold on to the phone. But I'm going to give you a real nice story here on what we have out here. We're uh, in Savannah, Georgia, and this location is about an hour from my house. We have been here. I have been here uh, about three or four years ago. This same seller, who is a pilot, meticulous OCD service maintenance, you know, as a pilot, check all systems. Uh, it's, it's super important to him. The first boat that I sold for him was a Key West and uh, all service records very well maintained. That boat sold in two weeks. And he picked up this, which is now for sale. This is a, sorry, I gotta pull up my pants. This is a 2016 235 Sea Hunt uh, SE uh, center console and uh, it is in fantastic condition as I would expect you guys can see it sits here on a lift on covered lift with covers uh, on the helm as well as uh, the uh, bolster seating helm seating excuse me and I didn't take this all off because it's just hard for me to get those zippers undone so I did just the best I could I've been through the vessel from what I can see up underneath the bottom paint looks good everything just looks fantastic uh, I'm not gonna say this is the best thing since size bread but you want to know what she is in great shape there's also a video of the trailer which is in great shape was just serviced in the fall and this boat was also just serviced in the fall at about 10 hours ago so and all service records I have now the reason for the sale is I listed that boat about two weeks ago that catamaran and the seller of this vessel uh, is changing up to get into a little bit more diving and stuff in that Glacier Bay right there original was an original owner Glacier Bay uh, so he picked that up so now this boat's got to go and you know he doesn't want to have two boats so let's get this done uh, I want to say something uh, I do need advance notice for showing this vessel so on and so forth I don't think inspections or surveys are really going to be a big deal here with the quality of this vessel now let me cover the bases ultra 235 SE uh, I don't really see any chips nicks uh, as far as the side cushions all the way around excellent condition he just rinsed this boat off so um, these particular cushions right here are in the shed uh, way down over there by my truck and uh, they're also in excellent condition I peeped them myself and I have I'll put pictures up can't run the video and walk all the way down there and back all the other seating arrangements kind of piled on top of that porta potty as you move back to the vessel, you guys can see main seating also. I mean, you got a couple of little spots. I did notice up on this door over here. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a little goober right here. It looks like somebody did just a little bit of a touch up. Dual battery set. Uh, these were fresh as of last year with a switch. It's not a perco. You guys can see a couple of things there. Uh, one of your wells and then your storage your live well here i flipped all the switches on the boat down to the horn and i've gotten a response from everything as of this moment bilges live wells whole ball of wax moving forward into this area if you guys can see 410.2 hours on the yamaha uh tack gps 7610 sv with a companion 
Infinity Stereo. I've also looked through the vessel. There's your VHF. You know, uh, you're powder coated. And except for, you know, maybe some cup holders and things along that line, you don't have any real pitting, stainless steel pitting or anything. Now, in addition to what you're seeing here in this vessel, this boat also comes with a full custom Laporte cover. Um, just, you know, for the whole boat cover. And like I said, the trailer, I did a video on the trailer because I'm trying to give you guys as much data as possible. Real hard for me to run, especially as a single dad and, and getting my health back uh, willy-nilly. So hopefully this video gives you what you need to consider an offer on this vessel and then we could just move forward from here. Like I said, his last boat was also in the same type of condition and we were up, you know, 14 days. Shoot, that boat closed in seven days. You guys know where the market's at? Um, I'm gonna now pop down off this and try and get finished up. If you guys can just bear with me. Um, it's gonna take me a second. I'm gonna sit first. Try not to go in the drink or drop my phone. The oh, sun feels good out here. And I'm just gonna give you guys a quick walk around. Uh, hopefully you don't get any real sun glare. Yamaha 250, 410 hours. Like I said, service records on file. You know, it's it's nice trim tabs, uh, auto retract. Not that that needs to be known. But overall, like I said, real good boat. Those that follow me know I call it as I see it. Bottom paint's in decent shape. Boats, you know, uh, you're not even, you're pretty much turnkey. You don't even need a detail right now. Um, you just, you know, put it on a trail and put it in the water and go fishing. Hard top's in great shape. You got to close the uh, Ray, uh, Ray Marine up on top of the hard top, which you'll see in the pictures. And as you guys can see, hey, take a look at that catamaran, huh? Original owner that had that thing. And man, he took such good care of that. That boat only has uh, 400, 400 hours on it. Actually, I think it has less hours than this boat has on it. And that's a 2001. So anyway, here we go. And hopefully that does it for you guys. Let me just go back here. Also, not only did I mention, you know, you have an OCD owner with high maintenance standards being a pilot. Uh, this particular owner also comes from uh, long lines of uh, shrimping, long bloodlines of shrimping in this area, all the way up through Beaufort through the years. So uh, the man knows his boats and he knows how to take care of them. In fact, he drove that boat home the other day uh, in weather that I would have never, from Hilton Head to here, I would have never been out in. So there you go. Also, I have the uh, main bag for the Sea Hunt as well. So anyway, hopefully that'll do it. Sorry for all the talking. Uh, it's a pretty cut and dry on this boat. I don't have any complaints, except for maybe if you're not in this lift, you might want to cut some outriggers up through that hard top. Anyway, Rob out here at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com out in Savannah, Georgia. Wishing you a great and safe boating day. Rob signing off.